Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to have a look at Farewell Tryon. <laughs> This was a request from Anton Kast. Thank you for asking for this Anton, I'd never come across it until you asked for it. It's a lovely tune. Uh, it's an old time tune written by Joe Blaylock and um, the title of Farewell Tryon mystified me until I read the story which is that uh, Joe Blaylock was laid off from his job at the mill in Tryon, Georgia and returned home to Alabama and wrote this tune uh, wistfully uh, for the, the job that he'd lost. Um, it includes a third part uh, by the contemporary Alabama fiddler James Bryan, which we're also going to do. Um, this is a lovely tune. It's slightly crooked, and uh, crooked in an interesting and very pleasant way. Uh, let's start off with the A section. This bit is really important, so um, second finger over fourth finger and just bring that fourth finger down a little bit so it's an A flat and uh, sliding it down. If you play it clean like this then it really doesn't have the effect so it needs to be slightly out of tune, kind of a smear. But if you really can't manage that, then that's probably quite acceptable. Fourth finger sliding down and leave out the upper notes. But uh, play, play properly again those first two bars. Then the next two depend, I think, quite a lot on the, the bowing. So, without any drones, that's what we're playing, we're slurring, those three. So this is a bit of Georgia Shuffle. So let's go from the beginning, two, three, four. So that's and that's an E with a C below it. Let's do all of that with a repeat. One, two, three, four. Then the B part starts off with a bar of 6-4, or you could say a bar of 4-4 and a half a bar. So we've got um, that. So the first bar is, and then we're back to 4-4. So this takes quite a bit of getting used to. So it's going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, da 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 The uh, the the second bar is a full bar of uh, playing a C and going into one extra note in the next bar. And I think if you're playing this um, solo, it's a really good idea to tap your foot through that. And I have to say. Um, that long C note is a perfect example of how it sometimes pays to break all the rules because by any uh, stretch of the imagination you don't normally put in a great big long note like that in the middle of a whole load of eighth notes um, but it has that really wistful quality to it and in fact that note kind of um, 
pays for the whole tune, in my opinion. Uh, if you want to, if you play this solo, then sticking an F under the C is quite nice because it emphasizes the fact that this, the ch chord has changed in an unusual way. <laughs> Or if you wanted, you could just hint at it. Like that. Now, when this is played, it's normally um, A and then B and then back to A and B. And um, it, was, it was, in fact, written as a two-part tune. We have this ninth sec section added by James Bryan. And uh, I think people often will play this uh, the last time round to finish it off, or just uh, maybe something like A B A B C A B A B C, something like that. So the section goes. And no repeat. So let's play all of that and then we'll do it with the backing. So from the beginning. One, two, three. same thing but with the backing. If you would like a copy of the sheet music then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email and do please consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll see you again soon.